Describe a call from a patient. I told her, you can come to San Antonio, we can help you here. And she said, I can't. I, have, I don't have the means. There is no way I can get to San Antonio. So what if I tell you what I have in my kitchen cabinet and you tell me what I could do? I'll tell you what I have in my kitchen cabinet and you can tell me what I can do. When your state's abortion laws are forcing people into the most depressing quick-fire challenge in Top Chef history, <laughs> I think it's safe to say they've gone too f***ing far. Because here is the thing. Abortion cannot just be theoretically legal, it has to be literally accessible. And remember, every single one of us watching this right now... Every... Every single one of us watching right now agrees that it should be legal at the very least in a few extreme circumstances. Say, hypothetically, a young girl has been the victim of sexual assault. Well, thanks to these laws, this hypothetical girl uh, might have to travel a long distance because there were no clinics close to her. Uh, and again, thanks to these laws, the girl might be approaching the point where her state won't let her get the procedure at all. Well, sadly, none of that is hypothetical, and I'll let a Texas clinic director tell you the rest. In order to see her, I need to put her to sleep. And in order to do that, I need a nurse anesthetist. And because of this crazy law, it is impossible to find people to work for us. She's 13 years old, and she is a victim of rape, and she drove four hours from McAllen to San Antonio, and we had to turn her away. And there was nothing I could do to save her. And so now, if she has a procedure, and that if is huge, she'll have to go all the way to New Mexico and pay $5,000 and get there and spend three days. It'll never happen. We know it won't.